Alex Kalorn grew up a Canadiens fan in Beaconsfield, but for the last week, he's been battling that team as a forward with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Our Kelly Gregg caught up with Kalorn before Game 4 of the playoffs at the Bell Centre and filed this report. Brewer to the open side, Radko Gudis takes the shot off the tip of Price's glove. Tyler Johnson, a turnaround, and Kalorn, he scores! Alex Kalorn made a name for himself as an offensive threat on the Tampa Bay Lightning in only his first career playoffs. With 17 goals and 24 assists in the regular season, Kalorn has proven he deserves a top six spot on a team loaded with talent. The Beaconsfield native had one of the toughest jobs of his career in this playoffs, trying to take down the team he idolized growing up. This is also a building that I've come to, to root for when I was a lot younger, uh, never thinking that I'd be playing against them in the Seneca playoffs. So for reasons like that, it's pretty exciting for me. I remember I came to the Sakakoyu game when he came back from cancer. That was a, he was my favorite player, and I thought that was a pretty big moment, and for me that was pretty exciting. Although he's not sporting the same bleu, blanc et rouge as Koivu did, he's still got a small share of the hometown fans in his corner. All my family and friends get to come to the game. I get to see them after the game. Uh, not only is it a good experience for me, but they get to kind of live through it a little bit as well. Teammate Tyler Johnson broke into the league the same year as Kalorn and is happy to be part of his friend's homecoming. Uh, you know, I, I think it's probably fun for him. Uh, anytime you can play in the Bell Center, it's awesome. And I can't even imagine, you know, growing up and um, watching games here and uh, playing here. So, uh, you know, it, it's probably really fun for him. It's great that he has his family and friends. I know that's a blast to have around. So, um, you know, I'm sure it's fun. I've been coming to games my whole life. And uh, I know the atmosphere. I know the playoff atmosphere. I know how proud the fans are. So, um, for me, it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, anything I didn't know I was getting into. But before Kalorn got here, he started here as a minor league hockey player in the West Island. He attended Loyola High School and has been balancing athletics and academics ever since. From humble beginnings at Lakeshore Minor Hockey, Kalorn moved up through the ranks in American schools, eventually playing for the prestigious Harvard Crimson. Now, not only was he an Ivy League student, he was also an All-American hockey player. And my parents really wanted me to focus on education, not knowing what was going to happen with me, my career or whatnot. And uh, I, I almost went to the queue. I went to Shawinigan for 48 hours and then um, decided to go to Harvard and stay there four years. So. Stick handles in, nice move to the back end, lets it go, and a save by Price. And we got Kalor driving it up with Subban. <laughs> He's a goof. He likes to he likes to know that he uh, went to Harvard, so he's he's a smart guy. But um, you know, I I mean, we're great buddies. We were actually roommates in Syracuse last year. So um, he's just one of those guys that you love to have around, love to have on your team.